Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, Ordinary Guy. So today we're gonna to do some wiring on the S10. So, hang tight. All right, I started on this yesterday and I didn't video any of it because I really needed to think about what I was doing. And it took me almost well, by the time I got the springs back in the truck and got some of the wiring done, it was it was a full day and I, I really needed the time to just focus on this. So what I did or where let's start with with what the problem is. I have this junction block here that just got a rat's nest coming off of it. Used to be really neat and clean, but uh, just over the years, I've just keep adding stuff to it and it's time to update it a little bit or at least clean it up. So what I did here was I started with my alternator and and my water pump. I have two grounds that come down here. I have the one wire for the alternator and then I have the uh, the new sending unit right there for the, for the uh, water temperature. So that's all been put together and taped up. I run it all the way back to here separately from the nitrous harness. So what I did here was I have the uh, the fuel solenoid for the nitrous and I have the nitrous solenoid over there and I made these guys go into you can see kind of like their own harness it's standalone so that way if I redo the nitrous which at some point I probably will um, or change you know components of it I don't have to rip apart the whole thing I could just do that so that's all done and I got back to here um, I did used to have this uh, uh, relay was down over here um, actually it was on that one right there that one is for the water pump so I moved them all over and put them together so I have the this is for a water pump this one's for the nitrous and this one's for the fuel pump for the nitrous so I still have to uh, do all of that. The other thing that I did was I stripped down, I stripped down, uh, there was a big uh, loom over this and there was only a couple of wires in it. So I took the loom off of it and down into here, you can kind of see, I got a lot of wires right there cut. Now that's for like windshield wiper, ABS brakes, uh, I don't know, air conditioning or, or, or whatnot. It's just got a bunch, a bunch of, uh, different things there. So probably what I'm going to end up doing is taking that off and unpinning a bunch of those wires. So I don't have wires exposed like that. So at the end of the day yesterday, I ended up with that done and I'm at the point right now that I got to get behind the dashboard. All right, so inside the truck here, I have a plan. Um, nothing in here in that panel in there works. I mean, it all works. It just, none of it's hooked up. Um, so what I, and I know that because it worked when I bought it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna take all of this out and I'm gonna make a panel that goes in here and then I will have my gauges in into that panel right there so as it is right now you can see this is this is for me sitting in here i'll move it up to right by my face as i'm racing down the track i look over there and then i can't really see the gauges i mean i could see them but it's not it's hard it's a reach to see them so i want to move them over here so i could just as i'm looking at the track i just glance down and i'm right there so it's all like right in this one little area so I'm going to do that. I think what I'll do is I have a, a, a water gauge that I bought, whoop, water gauge that I bought, a uh, fuel gauge that I bought, no, oil gauge that I bought. And then I still I have this wide band right here. And I think I might, and those are all, these are all auto meter gauges, gauges. And I think I'll put those three across here. Um, I may do a volt meter and I would like to do a transmission temperature. So those might be on a panel over here. 
but that's going to be that right there. Then what I'm thinking about doing here is removing this. This all comes unscrews and comes off and then making a, an aluminum copy of this that uses the original holes and getting rid of that switch. And then all of these switches right here can go over here or most of them anyways. Um, and the reason for it is I could easily reach this when I'm strapped in, but I have to really stretch to reach these. Like I can't reach that end one, which I don't need to turn it off, but I can't reach it in the fuel. Oh no, they're just, I'm okay right about to here, but anything over, I can't really reach. So I'm gonna take that, uh, take those switches, move them over here, and then I'll probably make another one of those, depending on if, if see how it, it goes. I'll probably make another one of those uh, aluminum pieces that would go here that I could ha still have. This is my trans brake button. This is my nitrous controller readout. And I'll probably, where this was, where that bolt hole is, I'll probably put my purge switch right there for the nitrous. That way I'm not cutting up and drilling up the dash too much. I mean, it's not like I want to save it but I just don't want it all. I don't want a full aluminum dash and I just don't want to hack this one to pieces either. So that's the plan. I think what I'll do, because it's hard to take video inside the truck when I'm, uh, when I'm working on the stuff, cause I end up in front of the, uh, the camera and I bump it and I also have to think. <laughs> so what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll pull some of it apart and then I'll video a little more and then I'll pull some more apart and let's, let's see how that works. So. Let's get to it. All right, got the column out. There was just a few plugs to get off of it right there. This is the other column. I got it out of a parts truck that I bought a while back. And uh, I'll see if I could graph the two together or something, make it work, but I'm not at that stage yet. Then back over here, I got both of these side pieces out right there and there. And honestly, looking at that, I'm pretty sure I could make that out of aluminum, you know, without all the holes and stuff in it. And that way I could put things exactly where I want them. So I, I think, I think I could do that. So, um, got my rat's nest opened up. My other rat's nest. And then I had put the nitrous controller in and I left it laying in there. So in the glove box, so that, that's all got to get straightened up anyway. So, all right, next is going to be to get this cluster here out. All right, the center or the gauge cluster, got that out. Now this goes on there. There's these four studs. And that was just bolted on those four studs. But it's... Uh, little bit, you know, you gotta be kind of careful to get it off because you'll break the plastic. And you can see they're like pointed, you know, that way, and that one's pointed straight. So you gotta really kind of work it. And then this thing here goes, goes over the whole top of it and uh, it goes over those same studs. So once you take these things here off, you can get to, you can see it right there and right there on both sides, down the bottom and then another one up there. So that's just four and the whole thing comes off. And honestly, I looked at it and thought, man, I could just make a whole piece right here that, but that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of trying to, you know, keep a somewhat factory-ish look to it, you know, so. But yeah, so I got all that off. So now I think my next step before I start getting into all that, I want to make up some of these pieces here first. All right, got started on the fabrication for the panel. And what I did here is, um, so this piece goes in there and then, you know, behind the, Thing. So this here is getting replaced because, you know, nothing in there works with race car. So this is out. 
So I figured what I would do is make a panel to go in here. So let's see. I'll give you, show you how I did it. Okay, so I know I want it to go in here and I want it to kind of set in there, you know, so it looks, you know, obviously not gonna look factory, but it's gonna look close to, uh, at least it's not, it's not gonna look butchered, I should say that. So I got a piece of this uh, envelope file folder. Um, and then I measured it out and I played around with it a little bit. This is really time consuming. So I didn't video the whole process because this is between me pulling the wires or, or pulling this out and here we're talking, I'm on the next day. So, I mean, it was hours. I, I spent hours getting this to this point. So I have to think about it as I'm doing it. Um, so anyways, I made this up. It kind of sits in there, this pattern. All right, so I got this pattern set in here. And my plan is, you can see the three rings. Those are uh, gauge placement. So that was, that was what I did. So that way I could trace this right onto a piece of aluminum. And I thought what I would do, <clears throat> you know, make it exact and then I, I'm obviously gonna need a way, a way to attach it. So um, I took a piece and I cut it out. And then when I, when I cut it out, I left it long on the edges so that way I could bend it and have tabs to anchor it to the dash. Um, the problem with this one is it's just it's too much. It's too much bulk to get it and, and in order to get it perfect I mean I'd probably make about five of these before I finally made it actually fit. Um, so on this one I decided to just use it as a test and I didn't get a good bend on there so it's kind of I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of wrinkly and it's not straight. And this was just a test piece. So off we go with that one. <clears throat> then what I did come up with is this one here, which I like better. I just made a couple little tabs for the side right there. Um, got the little bit of a uh, angle here. I had to cut a couple notches in the top here because inside of the dash there is a couple not there's I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's notches, three of them across there, so that has to fit in there. So I'm gonna put this one in. Get it set in there where I want it. There. So this is the, just about the final fitment. I gotta, when I get it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rivet it. I'm gonna use rivets on these tabs on the back side here, inside there. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna rivet those into place. So that way it'll be, it'll be there. I don't want it to be, because it's, it's, it's easy to just take out the four bolts here to pull the whole gauge thing out if I need to get to the back of there. I'm not gonna worry. I'm just gonna make this permanent in here. Well, I mean riveted, so riveted permanent. <laughs> so, okay, so now this time, what I decided to do, and you'll be able to see it. This isn't quite sitting in there right, but it'll take a little more time to fit for fitment. What I'm gonna do is stagger them a little bit. The center is gonna be up a little bit higher. It's halfway point between the curve and there and then over here it's going to be halfway between here and there so that way it, it kind of has a little bit of a everything looks good I, I mess with it a lot to kind of look at it and I, this is what i like so that's about where i'm at with that right now so i'm gonna stop yakking about it i'm gonna uh go ahead and cut the holes for the gauges and test fit it again see how it looks well this is what happened this is why it takes so long I, I didn't uh, <laughs> I didn't check my uh, I didn't double check my spacing. What I was shooting for was these to be uh, centered in between there and there in that space there and it's pretty much on this one it, here it is. 
This one here I messed up and I brought it over farther. But, and, and you can see the center one is higher. It's the way I wanted it. But I'm kind of glad that happened because this is what I was going for. But I like that better. So I'm going to start over and make a whole new panel because <laughs> that isn't right. So, all right, here we go. All right, here's the failed one. Um, failed one number two. So basically, I'm just going to trace this out right onto the aluminum. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space. I'm going to leave a little bit of space over here just on the sides so that way I can uh, have some material for those tabs left on there. So I'll just go around it like this. I got to kind of figure these things out as I go along here, you know. I got a lot of tools, but I don't have a lot of everything I need. So, including the knowledge. <laughs> so, I just kind of kind of wing it until I figure it out. So, what I'm doing right now is bending these tabs down. And I will put that guy right there. So I'm kind of making a makeshift little uh, bending break here, I guess you could say. We've got the heavy piece of angle, quarter inch piece of angle iron inside of the vent uh, bench vise. And then I got a piece of, it looks like half inch bar stock on top to hold it in place. Okay, come on, get in there. I'm just gonna bend it. Bend it with the fingers. Not bad, it's a little bit, a little bit tight. You can see it's, but I will do some trimming and I think I can fix that. All right, got the holes all cut on the second piece. Sits in there really nicely. I really like the spacing on it. I think it fits in there really well, better. I was gonna have them farther out, but I think that fits just right like that. And, this is a wheel I'm gonna run in it, and it kinda, you know, somewhere in there. It's gonna fit in there pretty good. So, it's better that, you know, than having to look over there for gauges when I could just, you know, glance down, and there they are. So, still gotta finish that up a little bit. I think I can do a couple of different types of finish on it, but 
Um, I think I'm good for right now on that. Okay, the centerpiece is all done now. The, I mean, I, I still have to fin figure out my finish on it, but or the cluster piece, I guess is what you call it. Gauge panel, whatever. But you know, I did one and I uh, didn't really come out like I wanted. Wasn't, wasn't feeling it. Did the next one, it was coming out pretty good, but then I messed up on my spacing measurements. You know, that one's, you know, not, not right. But then I learned, you know, for my next one. And the next one I whipped out pretty quick. These, these two here took quite a while. But that, that one there I whipped out pretty good. And the thing is, it's a bummer that I had to start over on those. But you know what? It's nothing to be upset about because I'm learning. As I'm doing this, every time I, I, can, I can be a little bit better. Make the little bit of tweaks I need to here and there. Nothing to get upset about. Just make it again until it comes out right. Um, <clears throat> So now what I want to do is the side pieces. This is the heater vent that goes along, goes on my right hand side or, you know, and then the other one here, which is for the uh, headlights. Now this one here for the heater, cause there's no heater or anything in the truck. I have my trans brake button in there, but I just got, it, you know, it's all like opened up with holes and stuff. Cause I took all that heater stuff out. So, having a solid piece there would be nice and I don't want to just cheap out. I mean, I could just, I could just cheap out and, uh, just take a piece of, you know, aluminum and just attach it to this piece here, which I guess would look all right, but I want to try, I want to see if I can make this. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. So what I, or what I did, already was I got a piece of this uh, file folder material, excuse me, and I uh, laid out my piece here. I kind of like, you know, got the furthest point and just kind of walked it on so I could do my measurements on there and, you know, to the side and got all that. So this is, this is what I came up with was my, uh, for a pattern. It sits right over, it fits right over this pretty good. So, and then we'll go, let's go over to the truck real quick and I'll show you how, how this fits in there. All right, yeah, I'm really digging this. I like the way that looks, came out pretty nice. So I still have to, you know, I, I was set on painting it black. I do like the look of aluminum I just don't want to have between the panels, the door panels, and I, I don't want too much. So uh, I may paint it black or I might just uh, take scotch bright and, and brush it, but I'll figure that out. So this thing here doesn't, oh, what's missing? Oh, need to bend those edges a little bit. There we go. So basically I made my pattern. I want to make sure it fits in here. Just like that. This bottom goes over there, fits in right where the screws would be on the bottom here. So I could just, you know, attach it just like it was. Left a little lip up there. So just like the factory, so it'll hold itself in. And uh, this will actually, I believe if I, have both of these here bent a little bit on the edge. I feel like I only need to make one pattern for both. They seem like they're very similar. So I'll make this one up and see if it'll fit over here too. But this is, no, no, actually, wait a minute. This is the one I started on right here. So yeah, so now I know for sure because it fits over there nicely. Yep, that's it. So I'm going to start cutting this out of aluminum. <laughs> All right, well, that wasn't as hard to make up as I thought it was going to be. I got the, and they're slightly different. One side, this side and this side are actually a little bit different. But um, just mainly the way that they attach up here in the top is, is different. But it's, uh, I got it on there. It's just held in with the 
with the factory screws. Um, I thought about, you know, welding that up right there, but this thing is, it's, it's, it's on there. It, it's not going to come off. And you see from the back, it just, it just tucks in there. Just like, uh, just like the original piece did. Where's that original piece? Right here. Tucks in there just like that, that did. So I'm not sure, <clears throat> like I said, I don't want a whole bunch of aluminum in my face. So I might, uh, I thought maybe I could scotch bright it and clear it. So it kind of tones it down. I don't know how that would work. Or if I could just paint them. I know I want to, I'm pretty sure I want to paint the center one black because I think it'll, it'll just kind of hide it. And I think it'll look really good with the, the gauges on it. So, but anyways, all right. So this is how I did it. Got my pattern right here. Put it right on there. That's why I put the tape on it because I can see these lines. And if I did a Sharpie, you saw when I cut the other piece out, the Sharpie makes a big, a big line. This one here, I could be more accurate when I'm bending it. I do, I gotta make a couple little like relief cuts right here for the bottom. All right, so got it bent on the bender over there. Then I had to come back over here because it, you know, it's not, it's, I'm an amateur. So this is, doesn't come out perfect the first time. So what I did when I got back over here is I had to do a little bit of, a little bit of trimming on the side and just come back and check it. Make sure it sits on there easily, you know, pretty nice. And then trim on it some more, file, a lot of filing on it, just to kind of get it where everything will just fit on there. So that's it. 
That is the fit I'm looking for. So now I gotta bend this top piece up here. Do that one first. And I cut this, I cut this block of wood out and it fits right up in the thing for bending it. It worked out actually really good. I didn't know I needed it until after I, you know, until after I realized I needed it. <laughs> so. in there. It's off a little bit right there. But... Let's come back down some more. All right, there we go. All finished for the most part, at least with the fabrication part of it. Came out pretty good, pretty happy with it. All right, that's gonna be a wrap on this. Um, I know we started off doing wiring and ended up doing fabrication, but the thing is, is I can't really do any of the wiring until I know where the wires are gonna go. So here we are, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I got a lot more to do still. Um, and like I said, I'm probably gonna paint these the, the raw aluminum is just a little bit much right there. But, um, but anyways, thanks for watching and hanging out and all that stuff. And make sure you leave a comment and a like. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.